Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you a few of my knives. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. Well, first of all, let's get started with the MTech, which is the worst knife to have. None of them are high brands, but like I said, if you see my videos, you know I will pour, put them through lots of pain and torture before I review them. And as you can see, the MTech is the only one that really hasn't made it. it I don't. It's not supposed to open like that. It's not a butterfly knife or anything. It's just a hunk of junk. And then I had a friend of mine think it was funny to send me one for... Oh, sorry. Send me one through mail. And it turns out it's still a piece of crap. Now, it is a cool looking knife. Although it is comfortable in your hand and it looks nice. It's nicely shaded. It's clip. It's low profile. And you could just simply open it with one hand. It's still an Neptech and it doesn't make it any better because it's all flimsy and it's not a good knife. Like I said, two days trial, busted. I don't even want to try this one. It just looks pretty in the box and let people think it's a good knife. But it's not. Next, we go with my Dakota knife. Now, I haven't tried this knife out. I don't know if it's good or not. And all I know is I've, I've had it for years and years to come. I've seen it online for 75 cents and the highest for $1.68. So if you see this knife, I wouldn't pay a dollar more than a dollar sixty-eight. Well, I wouldn't pay a penny more a dollar sixty-eight. Uh it's it's just crappy, man. It's you know, it's 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 already off the back. It it, it wiggles all over the place. And that's okay with some knives. If you have a Kershaw or a Camillus, a real Camillus, you know, you're you're gonna get a little bit of play there, but this is just ridiculous. I've had to tie in it three to four times, and like I said, I haven't even used it yet. I haven't opened a single box of it. As you can see, it's still brand new if this thing would focus. But I want to recommend this either. Next, we have the ridge liner. I like this little knife. Why? It's small. You won't feel it in your pocket. You're not going to feel it in your keychain. As a matter of fact, I think one of your keys is actually heavier than this knife. It's an inch and three quarters little blade. So it's like I said, it's good letter opener. Uh, I don't know, peeling an apple, well, not peeling an apple, cutting an apple, well, you name it, it does it. It's small and cool. It's comfortable to have. I keep these around. I bought the about 30, 30 something of them, 36 of them, for 26 or 30 dollars. One that's I don't, I really don't remember how much, but I've had it for almost a year now. Ridge liner, got it on eBay. Just in case you guys want one, you know where to find 36 of them for the price of, I don't know, Kershaw. This is a good knife. Where is it? And there you go. This knife has proven itself. The only thing is it's a little heavy. Uh, it is a, oh, come on, fuck it. Focus. It is a little heavy, and but it's quite comfortable. I mean, it has a thumb guard there, so you don't slip or anything like that. And it, it, it keeps a pretty sharp blade. I, I like it. Don't use it much. Had this in a tackle box for a while, took it out. Put it in the boat for a while, took it out. Put it in the car for a while, and now it's here. I have actually haven't used this knife in a while, but it's a pretty good knife. I like it. Yeah. Let's see what's next. Next up is this thing. Oh, sorry. I've had this one for about two to three years now. I don't even know what the hell it is. It's a pine ridge. Let's take a wild guess where it's made in. Oh, China. What a surprise. Uh, heavy, not comfortable, and ugly. I don't want to use this for anything in the world. It was a gift. Thank you. Whoever gave it to me, thank you. I appreciate it. They, I love knives, but... Uh, sorry, I don't like it, but I'm not going to tell you that. But thank you. Once again, I don't recommend this knife. Now, we all have a knife like this. We all have a knife that we borrowed for some, from somebody and never give it back or haven't given it back yet. Just in case my friend Frankie or Albert is watching. Ta-da! I have it. And it is a... Okay, let's see what that is. It just says stainless steel and it does not have a brand it does not have a make but this knife has been kicking around in my 
draw in my drawers for I don't know eight nine years and it's still going just a heavy knife it's ugly but I don't know when my friends come over they like it so I guess I'll hold on to it or till Albert calls me good friend of mine tells me hey I want my knife back and I'm like oh shit should have never posted it but too late now yeah, let's see what's next Coleman great camping knife very fun very fun it brings the sheath very comfortable to grab looks nice it, it's very comfortable like I said it comes very sharp hasn't lost the edge yet only been able to use it once and it was to strike a fire you could feel it a little, little there but it's a really good knife I think this is a 440 steel I don't remember what it said on the box uh, 440 or 1095 I, I'm, I'm really not sure but it was it's it's pretty good it's pretty good and you know although it's made in China I just I, I like Coleman it, it's a pretty cool little knife and it just it has it has a right feel to it it looks it looks right yeah it's just a bit small that's all but it's pretty nice it's pretty good. I've had this for a while this is just a pretty looking knife what I do like about this knife is what you'll never guess when you see it pretty like this you would think it's made in China no you're wrong made in the USA dad got me this knife love you old man for that but it's pretty cool I like it it's heavy I don't know what it is it's not sharp it's just pretty and let's put that back in oh and what's cool about it it's I don't think you could tell but you see those two things there every time you slide it in it actually sharpens the knife yeah it doesn't look like it but it does all you have to do is squeeze in here hard like that and put it in as bogus as that sound it's the truth and let's put it back in there you could actually hear the rocks uh, sanding it down I don't know if you heard that guys but take my word for it it does it's pretty impressive I, I, I'm, I'm shocked by it too it's a first for me next is Bear Grylls. I actually did a review on this knife. It's haven't gotten the full potential out of it yet, but you can't go wrong with it. It looks cool. It has a nice weight to it. And it just feels right. It's nice and thick. I have start I have uh stroke the flint with it. <laughs> I have uh strike the fire with it and it's cool. Sheath, sharpener, fire starter and it's just it's all sorts of cool. A lot of people don't like uh, Gerber. I'm all right with them. You know, I have, I have the Gator, and it's it's still kicking. It's on the boat. Let's just see where that goes. Next, we have a gift from my father-in-law. This is actually a cigar cutter, but it is so cool and it feels so good in your hand. It just it looks nice. All right, yeah, this is also made in China. You can see that. Well, actually, no, I was wrong. Taiwan. That it won't focus. There it goes. Taiwan. Yeah, uh, only had this for a little bit. But uh, it's cool, man. You want to cut the butts of your cigars? There you go. Let's put that away. Put that in there. What else we got? There's a throwing axe. It came with a nice little rope. Not paracord. I wish it came with paracord, but it didn't. Tried throwing it a few times. Could it get it stuck? Couldn't get it stuck. So I stopped trying. It's an M Tech. Same thing that makes this piece of crap makes this thing. It would suck to get hit by it, but I wouldn't try it. It's not my thing. I went through the you know, one at an axe. There it goes. Couldn't go wrong. I was better off going to Home Depot. Next, oh, let's put this one back. That's not the one yet. It's my imitation K bar. I like it. I don't care that it's made in China. I don't care that it's an imitation. I don't care what the hell it is. It's a great knife. It stands. It's been with me since I could remember. It was pretty much one of my first knives. Yes, the paint is coming off. And yes, the blade does have nicks. But goddamn, it's a good knife. It just feels good. The sheath is still in great shape. 
the blade has not broken or it hasn't bent or anything it's just perfect this has to be one of my favorite knives why it's still kicking and last is the true made in America well in reviewer guys backyard it's my machete slash knife slash god knows what it is awesome feels good paracord under it no fancy knots just rolled around and taped I've used it to extremes I've gone hunting with it and very impressed and that's it all right guys thank you for watching uh, I had nothing else to record so wait how can I forget the best one we have yet Swiss Army Knife Champ I did a review on this one I'm not gonna do one now um, but can't go wrong with the Swiss Army Knife I actually have four or five Swiss Army Knives it's just this is my favorite and I keep it in a pouch to keep on my belt because it's too big to carry on you well that's all of them alright guys thank you for watching like I said I had nothing else to record so this was eventually coming thank you for watching and Stay tuned. I have a few more videos coming up. Thank you. Bye.